Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Shadavala Ages Holly with Shono here, about to give you a daily vlog for Monday, February the 21st. It's been a long time since I've done one of these vlogs, and I want to explain why. Part of it was when I actually got sick in October, not with COVID, as I had two negative tests to confirm that. I just decided that it's too difficult to actually do daily vlogs working 2.30 to 11. And part of it was I was staying up to about 5 o'clock in the morning and purposely getting up at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. As you guys know, Vincent Shono show started around 11 o'clock. So basically when I got home from work, we would do a Vincent Shono show. Normally we'd start at 11. Now that I'm working mid shifts at Home Depot, effective immediately, now I'm working 10.30 to 7, 10 to 6.30, 9.30 to 6, 9.15 to 5.45, 9 to 5.30, 11.30 to 8, 11 to 7.30, or anywhere within that time frame, which means now I actually have time to do daily vlogs after work if necessary before I actually get settled in for gaming. So I'm gonna make a vow to get back on the daily vlog trade. I apologize to everybody that has been looking forward to daily vlogs. I'd like to thank all 170 subscribers at the time of this recording for sticking around with me and not unsubscribing because I haven't made a vlog in probably three months. Just know that it was super difficult to actually make daily vlogs. I didn't make a vlog for the Royal Rumble. I do want to talk a little bit about Elimination Chamber, however. I have not seen Rey Mysterio and The Miz, so I don't know what that outcome was. However, Goldberg and Roman Reigns, I know that Oldberg is very popular in Saudi Arabia, so it's no surprise that he would be featured also in the Women's Elimination Chamber match. Bianca Belair won. I'm kind of sick of seeing Bianca Belair in the main event. I'd actually like to see somebody different even though Liv Morgan did have a chance. Lita with Becky Lynch that was a great match probably the match on the card and I feel that the men's elimination chamber match kind of got ruined because of Bobby Lashley's injury it wasn't a concussion it was actually a shoulder problem and that was their excuse for writing him off so it's a little bit of a letdown but then again the Saudi shows usually are filler material hyped up really big very popular in Saudi Arabia the cards usually fall flat for whatever reason or just bad booking storytelling. And part of the problem is people aren't getting over like they used to. Somebody like Orton needs to start elevating people up to their level and not just trying to hold people back. I know that he's got a little friendship going with Riddle, but Riddle ain't doing himself any favors by getting wiped out by Brock Lesnar in like 10 seconds. Austin Theory, I know they're trying to push and they made him last a little bit, give him a little bit of hope. I'm curious to see what they're going to do with him. He's only 24. Sky's the limit. I know Braun Breaker's probably on his way up pretty soon. Odyssey Jones is 27. That's another one. There's a couple others that I know they're going through tryouts like Tommaso Ciampa. So we'll have to see what's going on. I know that Vince McMahon loves Shawn Michaels and he loves the way that he's building stars in NXT. And the way you do that, you have to bring in local talent and feed them for a little bit. Sometimes that's what you got to do. And I really think that the brand split needs to go away in WWE. And I'm hoping that with this whole title versus title, they get rid of it. You can keep the secondary belts. You do not need two tag belts. You do not need two world champions and you don't need two women's champions. You can keep the 24-7 title of the United States and Intercontinental Championships, have one world champion, one women's champion, and what the hell are they doing with the tag championship? I don't even think they need a tag championship, but if they want to have it, fine. Well, when was the last time you actually saw the WWE Women's Tag Championship defended? Not ever. Earlier today, Beth and I decided to go to Gilbert's for pizza. She ended up getting some nachos. I think she would have liked some pizza a little bit better. I'd like to thank Brian Abzinski for coming out as well for a little celebration before I go on to mids. And just so everybody knows, if you want to see Hollywood show, go to 20300 Kelly Road, and I'll be working at Home Depot five days a week, unfortunately for the next three Sundays. However, on Saturday, March 12th, I plan on seeing Vince doing lunch that way, going to Great Lakes Crossing, possibly Best Buy, and blowing some money while I'm over there. Tax season is upon us, and I have a little bit of money to blow, but I'm also going to look forward to seeing Vince. I wanted to see him last Sunday. Sunday. However, Beth had to work 13 hours the Sunday before last, which was the 13th. So unfortunately, we didn't actually get to see Vince, but we did go and celebrate lunch at Red Robin for Valentine's Day, which was really delicious. Go see the food porn in Discord for more. But I want to let everybody know that I will be returning to the daily vlogs. I'm going to be streaming Lost Ark immediately after this daily vlog goes live. I want to thank everybody for being patient with me as I return to the daily vlogs. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow after work or before work if I get up before 9 for yet another daily vlog. Hey there, Billy. We're all vaccinated. I'm going to go to the bar and get some pussy. <laughs>
I am fully vaccinated. I've been in the club. Three yep. times I've been in the club. Yep. Twice or three times. I'll have you know that I am the con of the God of Assholes Club. The only club I will ever be in. Yeah, you're not in the club. Why am I not in the club? Because I'm an asshole, a yaddy yaddy asshole. Yeah, he's in the club. Yeah. A S S H O L E. Everybody's in the club. Yeah, 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 everybody's in and Grandma Russell. <laughs> yeah, baby. Call Stephen P. News. If you need to. show or two. He'll the rest.